For today's topic is the difference between necrosis and apoptosis. There are two different terms. Apoptosis is a programmed cell death. It's a, it can be physiologic as well as pathologic process. For example, if it is a physiologic, the suppression of fingers and toes in a developing human embryo occurs because cells between the digits undergo apoptosis. If uh, uh, this, uh, the cells between the digits, they undergo apoptosis as it uh, occurs normally so it is because of the apoptosis uh, that helps in the maintenance of organ size that helps in the organ development and remodeling an embryo and uh, the uh, brings a balance between the cell proliferation and elimination then apoptosis if it occurs in pathological context when infected neoplastic or irreversibly injured cells we're talking about the injured cells or if they are neoplastic essentially commit regulated suicide as it's a program cell death so they program the death for the purpose of organisms benefit for the organisms benefit these cells they commit suicide and uh, helps so apoptosis it can be physiologic and pathologic in both this in both the cases it is helpful for us then in during the uh, apoptosis the plasma membrane is intact it remains intact there is no inflammatory reaction like first uh, at first the mechanism involves the cell sh uh, shrinkage there is cell shrinkage then there is blabbing then the formation of apoptotic bodies and then these apoptotic bodies are phagocytosed, engulfed, and then removed by <clears throat> before the contents of the cell that can spill out onto the surrounding cells and cause damage to them and cause inflammatory reaction. Before it may, uh, does so, it is phagocytosed. So there is no inflammatory reaction, then the plasma membrane is also intact. So if someone asks you what's the mechanism uh, it, uh, or the steps uh, of a, uh, that causes apopto uh, that is involved in apoptosis, so you could say cell shrinkage, then blabbing, the formation of apoptotic bodies, and then finally the phagocytosis before the contents are spilled out. The apoptotic bodies, these are not formed in necrosis. And also the plasma membrane does not remain intact. Also there is an inflammatory reaction in case of necrosis. Let us see the image that is the apoptosis, that is the normal healthy cell. When the apoptosis occurs, there is a first, there is a cell shrinkage, then the plasma membrane remains intact, there is a blabbing. And after the blabbing, the apoptotic bodies are formed. You can see the, these apoptotic bodies are then phagocytosed without uh, having uh, occurring any the inflammatory reaction. Now the necrosis it's a form of traumatic cell death that results from acute cellular injury. It's always a pathologic process that never uh, never occurs physiologically. For example, it may be due to trauma or infection. At first there is cell swelling, then loss of the cell membrane integrity and there is uncontrolled release of products of cell death in the extracellular space because of which the inflammatory process occurs. The plasma membrane is also not uh, intact. So the difference between the necrosis and apoptosis is that necrosis uh, it's a traumatic cell death that occurs because of any infection or injury while uh, apoptosis, uh, apoptosis is a, it's a programmed cell death that the cell commits suicide itself uh, according to the situation according to the environment um, the necrosis it's always a pathologic process that when there is an injury to the cell or the cell death occurs after it there is uh, intracellular degradative reactions that occurs after the death of the organism um, uh, that we call it as necrosis while in apoptosis uh, the um, cell is healthy one but for the benefit of the organism it may uh, so we commit suicide uh, pathologically like in case of neoplasia or any other problem and uh, maybe physiologically that helps in the remodeling of the organs uh, during embryonic life. Then the um, 
uh, steps that the apoptosis it involves the uh, cellular shrinkage then the blabbing formation of the apoptotic bodies and the phagocytosis without the spillage of the contents without the any inflammatory reaction well in case of necrosis there is a cell swelling and then the loss of membrane integrity and then the uncontrolled release of the uh, products of the cell dead and the environment in the surrounding that causes the inflammatory process and the cell uh, plasma membrane is not intact so these are the main differences between the necrosis and the apoptosis then we would discuss the uh, types of necrosis in our next lecture um, till then if you like my videos please do comment and share it with your friends also do subscribe the channel and thanks for watching